Tip boys. Friggin' decent. Frick yeah. Perfect. So let's get the rest of them just on there, eh? Okay, boys. Oh, welly, welly, whatever you want to call it. Did I get your welly, welly, boys? Holy, oh, that thing is solid. Okay, boys. Let's check that out, eh? Friggin' decent. That looks kind of friggin' fast, doesn't it? Looks like it's going fast all the time. Oh yeah, boys. So now when the boat goes on, I believe shh. Decent. Oh boy, she's like perfect. Friggin' right, it's perfect. So now what I gotta do is, I got to make the V in the front to hold the front cone, eh? Hey? Hold the old, the old the front of coney, boys. So first thing I'm gonna need is, why wouldn't I need more metal? Should we do the same as mine? Freaking right we should. So we'll go, what kind of angle should we go here, boys? Gotta try to get past that nose cone. So we'll go, let's give her a cock first. Let's get the right angle of dangle. We'll give her a quick grindy grindy. I go all by feel, boys. All by feel. Fabrication was made to be done by eye, it was. And there I go, eh? That can't get any better than eye than that, eh? No. We weld her right about there, we'll cut her off. Where's my marker, boys? We'll cut her off. Hey, okay. right about here, boys. Pretty decent. Okay, boys. Swing them out, weld that right to there I am. After I grind this, hey, okay? after I grind that a little rounder. All right, let's go back over to the welder and we'll weld this on. Just knocking things off, we are. Here we go again, boys. Weld that right there, we go. Decent. Straight. Straight. Woo! Hey, woo! So there we go, there's that. Freaking right, there's that. Look at that, boys. Hey! So now I gotta make the little V-age in the frontage. And with the nose cone on here, it's gonna be tough. I might make a different kind of V than mine, because this boat's a little goofy on the front. I got an idea. So I'm gonna take this. Can you see? Perfect. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna go the width of that, and I'm gonna Bender. Bender, Jim. We'll give her the old bendy. Like so. And we gotta figure out how much of V we need. So we're gonna bend her some more, we are. So just stick her on top. Okay, tap her up. So now what I'll do, I'll take the square, and I'll take my eye, and I gotta cut it, boys. So we'll cut her. Right there, boys. So there's a V. We just gotta, you know, get the right angle here, boys, of the boat. So flip the boat upside down, and we'll check it out. So see, we got way too much of a V on that, boys. This boat calls for a little wide a V, it does. A little bit of a wider V, boys. Even right, it does. Oh, late. Huge V. There's a difference between a cheap boat and a good boat, boys. Open her up a little bit more. There she is, boys, right there, hey? Eh? Right friggin' there. Oh, I nailed it. Okay, boys, grind the corners round. Now we just gotta mark where it needs to be. Got to mark where it needs to be, boys. So we'll slide it up in like so. And I want it right about there, I do. Freaking right, I do. So we'll mark it off like that. Take it over here and we'll give it a little tacky too. So we wanna make sure it's gonna be perfect. Okay, there, boys. So now, take the old welder, Steve, and we'll weld that on there. Two sides. All right, boys, you ready? There's a the trailer. We'll bring the old boat in, blah, 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 off the shore, blah, blah, blah. Oh, boys. That's pretty good. I think we got her, boys. There she is, eh? That's pretty cool, man. Freaking right it is. So there we go. Now all I gotta do is put wheels and stuff on it and uh, grind her all up and clean her all up and paint her all up, boys. So do you wanna watch me do that now or do you want me to put this on another video? How about I just do it now and if it's too long, I'll put on another video. So boys, for this, I'm gonna make a pretty simple axle I am. I just bent like a U-bolt type deal. I'm just gonna determine how far down it needs to be. I'm just gonna weld her to the frame like that. That way it'll give me my uh, supports I can put fenders on it, eh? Friggin' right I can. So if you want a cheap axle that doesn't have suspension, it doesn't need suspension because you only got one tire, that's the way to go. So now what I need to do is get my square and uh, we'll square off the old Ninja Rooskies somehow. Just use a ruler, I guess. 
Okay, just use a ruler. So we've got to come down. And we'll, don't have to come down too far, boys, on this trailer, because it's already at the bottom. So actually, if I just come the length of the ruler, we should be good. Okay, friggin' right we should be. So, here, let me move over so you can see me get this damn thing out of the way. So I'll just come down the length of the ruler, I will. About like that, boys. About like that. And then I'll just mark here and mark here. So now all I gotta do is drill a hole in it, eh? Daddy? Yeah, hon. That's good. Why wouldn't she? Why wouldn't she? So drill a hole through it. Like that. Flip it around. Drill another hole through it. There we go. Now we'll weld it on the trailer, boys. And this has got to be square or the trailer will drive sideways. Okay, so we'll put it right about there somewhere. So we'll mark it. We'll mark it, we will. Mark from the back of the trailer, boys. That uh, we'll go two and a quarter, boys. Two and a quarter, boys. There we go. So we put the axle at two and a quarter. We should be golden. Figured right we should be. So let's weld her up! <laughs> Why wouldn't we? Good, good. I didn't move her much. Oh, she's still good, boys. Careful. There we go. Hey, boys, so there's the axle. Freaking right it is. Let's go cool her down. Decent. Hey? Freaking decent, boys. So now we gotta mount the tires we do, and I don't have any screws that are long enough. So how the frick am I gonna do this? I wish I had a tap and die set, because that would work out awesome. Then I could tap these right into her. I wonder if I have a tap and die set. Hey boys, another thing I need, tap and die set, eh? Mark that on the list. Put that on the lift. Tap and die ski. That way I can tap and die ski this. Now the only other option, maybe, maybe, is to put that all the way through, like I did the other one. So, if I take this out, like so, Holy boys! Oh, that's ridiculous the tight. Oh boy. Take this out like so. Drill a bigger hole like so. So we need. We'll drill this out with that drill bit that's two miles long. Why wouldn't we? Oh, battery's dead, boys. Next. Next. Well that charge good. What the frig? What's going on here? There's one. There's ow! There's one. Ow! Boys! Holy that's hot! One, two, one and two, boys. So, we're gonna have to cut this off because it's not quite long enough. So we'll put this back in the vise, like so. And we'll cut her off, boys. There we go. Now we gotta drill through it again, just to make sure she's cleaned out. Gotta drill the rim out. Perfect! Gotta put the screw in, like so. Gotta put this on like so. Decent hurt. Gotta put this in like so. I have to trim off a little bit more, eh? Just a little bit more. Size of a friggin' doodad. Alright, so now we gotta take this and just file her up a little bit. Actually, we might have to grind that because it's not quite square. Boys. Here we go. Run the old drill back through her. Slide her back on like so. Get a couple washers, a couple of wash oars, like so. One, two, oh, boys, decent. One on here, so I'm gonna have to clean that off, but that'll work. So I gotta make the other one the exact same, boys. Okay, gonna take another tire, just rack the hell out of it, why wouldn't I? Take another tire and rack her, boys. Cause that's what I'm good at doing, eh? Hey? Boys, why are they so friggin' tight? They lock tight them some of bitches, probably. So we'll drill a hole through it first. Cause like I said, this is a good side, I need to mark it. Oh, yeah. So there's one side. So now we gotta mark it, Jim. So we want it to be there. Okay, here about there. I'll put that back in the vise with these because it's hotter than hell. The grinder seemed to work really good, it did. There we go. Ow. Ow, boys. Decent. Take this, drill it out. Decent. Take another one of these. Pop her through, hey, pop her through. Take one of these, put her on there. Get her lined up, boys. Washer, washer. Grind this off. Slide the tires on, like so. Like so. Another washer, like so and like so. And a nut, boys, which I probably don't have. Why would I? Well, that nut doesn't fit, but let's jam her in and see what happens. Freaking ready to see ya. Slap that on there, slap that on there. Take this. Like so, 
If you can find a nut that doesn't quite fit, you're better off because then you're not gonna move. You don't have to worry about welding it up. As long as you can get it on, hey? Eh? She's just peeling back the metal as I'm going. She's gonna be tight when I'm done. Holy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I broke her, boys. Let's try this one, boys. <gasps> Easy, careful. Broke her that time, big time. Okay, that ain't gonna work. Oh, boys, I can't get it out now. Oh, boys, what have I done? What's really going on? That wasn't such a good idea, was it? Heard no. Why would it be a good idea? Did she just jam the thing in? Oh, boys. She's going. We'll get her. Ah, almost there. That didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Didn't quite work -y the way I wanted her to, -y, hey? I was hoping to have a cross thread on that bolt. Worry about tacking the nuts so it doesn't spin. But that didn't work out, boys. Not everything works out the way you want her to sometimes, eh? Frig no. So now we gotta find the right size nuts. Good fucking luck. Good friggin' luck, boys. Bunch of screws, no nuts to fit them. Why wouldn't I? Ooh, that's a lock nut. I wonder if that would fit. That would be friggin' awesome. Nope. No! How about this one? No! How about this one? No, nope. same thing. Frig, what the hell are these? Metric? Why wouldn't they be metric? I'll just sit here and screw with this for like the rest of the day. Screw with a pair of friggin' tires. Just want to mount a couple tires on, that's all, you know. Takes longer to put the tires on than it does to put the damn friggin' well the frame together. You can build a trailer before you can get a friggin' rim on, eh? Like, what's really going on? Frig, man. No. Frig. I don't know about this. We'll try it. Probably gonna break her off again, boys. Ready for this? Ready for another snap off? Why wouldn't I? Nope, she's gonna snap off again. Holy, did I fucking cock over that fucking thing? Come on, what's really going on? Unbelievable. Hmm. I'm getting frustrated now. All I want to do is mount a goddamn tire on the fucking thing. Like, what the fuck is really going on? Just get off. Holy. We're going a different route this time. Come on, holy fuck, man. <laughs> it's two miles long now. Oh my god. Lord help me. Honest to God. I will win this game. Boys, I will win this, boys. Don't worry. Have faith in the old Joseph. Eh? Hey? Everything can't be easy or what would life be like, eh? This shouldn't be this difficult, though. It's only a pair of freaking goddamn rims, for Christ's sakes. All right. So now I need nuts. For God's sakes. All I want is just a pair of nuts, boys. Eh? Hey? Just a pair of nuts. I should lick my nuts. Every goddamn nut but the right nut. Literally every nut but the right nut. Like, how do I have our bolts with no nuts? Like, what do I do out? Go buy bolts. Think of bolts with no nuts? Uh, don't think so. I'm gonna stay in the steeler, boys. No. Nope. I have a whole damn bag. That's a whole damn bag and nothing to fit it. I literally do not have a nut to fit that goddamn bolt, those bolts. Like, how is that even friggin' possible? I'm gonna friggin' snap. Big time. Okay, boys, I'll be back when I find some nuts for this goddamn thing. Okay, boys. I shut her down. I went down to the hardware store and bought some. I did because I, I, I just gonna, I just, I can't take it, man. So now at least I have, you know, matching whatevers, right? Freaking right, I do. Because this was just getting absolutely ridiculous. It's about ready to snap. Why wouldn't I? And this and that and the other freaking thing. So here we go, boys. All right. Freaking decent. So let's see if this will work. Freaking better work. Don't. Things are gonna happen here today, okay? Things are gonna freaking happen, they are. Freaking right there. So we'll get these in. The rims. Like so. We'll slap through that thing on there, like so. We'll put the washer back on it, like so. And we'll slide around here, like so. And we'll put the other washer on, like freaking so. And we'll put the nut on, like so, okay? Decent, boys. We got her, I did. Oh yeah, that's nice and straight, isn't it? Why wouldn't it be crooked as hell? I know what's going on. Right, there's one. There's one. Knock this back out again. Put another screw in this rim. Tappy tappy, hey? Tappy, friggin' tappy. Like so, slide that on there like so. Slide the washer on here like so. Slide this on here like so, like so. And like so, boys. This thing's just gonna float across the snow it is. Friggin' right it is. Now we're gonna tighten these up. Just so it straightens them up, eh? Because I'm not sure if they're in right or not, or whatever. So there we go, that tightened up. Tighten this one up. So that's exactly what's going on, boys. Now we just gotta slightly loosen them up. 
right about there just so the reel will turn there we go put another net ski on her and we'll give her the big lock ski perfect decent we'll lock that on so there we go they're locked boys look at them tires just freaking holy hey those might be not the greatest best tires for this trailer but hey whatever works boys slide that on there and there's a trailer for a boat boys i have to put these on boys <laughs> they look cool. They match the car anyway. But anyways, there's my daughter's boat trailer. <laughs> the boat on her, boys. <laughs> so she turned out good, she did. Hey, freaking right it did. The trailer looks awesome. Wheels gotta go, eh? But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video of a quick, you know, two and a half hour RC trailer boat build. Boat trailer build, eh? And hopefully everybody had a good weekend and not doing anything I didn't do. And uh, you know what to do for now.